Hi everyone and welcome to our video series that aims to help you not only survive but thrive as a business during COVID-19. My name is Brett Smythe and I'm the founder of Engage Me Consulting. This is the first in a four-part video series that aims to help you engage your most important asset, your employees. Today we're going to be focusing on six principles of crisis communications. Number one is pretty obvious, it's be quick. Crises are time sensitive and you have to be quick at responding. But equally important is number two, which is be accurate. Accuracy trumps speed every single time. If you don't know the answers, that's okay, but at least assure your employees that, you, that you're going to be, you know, you're making a plan to get those answers. Tell them what you know, tell them what you don't know, and tell them how you're going to go about getting the answers that you need. Number three is be credible. It is absolutely essential that you are honest during the time of the crisis. Very interestingly, research came out showing that in this era of fake news, employers are the critical source of information for employees. That's where employees turn to for their accurate information. Number four is express empathy. Acknowledge what people are going through. People are frightened, people are concerned, people are uncertain about their futures. Acknowledge those feelings. As we progress to these different stages of COVID-19, the reactions are very different. Acknowledge and be empathetic with people. Meet them where they're at. Um, and those feelings change. You know, at the beginning there was uncertainty about what's happening to my job. Now there's uncertainty about when this is all going to end. There's uncertainty about when people are going to be going back to work. Acknowledge those feelings and those stages that people are going through. Number five is to promote action. Help employees by setting a course of action so that they overcome those negative feelings. And when you set action, think of it in terms of things of three that people can do. In crisis, people tend to be overwhelmed, so if you make things simpler, it's actually more effective. So think in terms of instructions in terms of three. And equally important is paint that vision for the future. You know, what is, what is your organization going to look like after all of this has come to an end at some point? What does that future look like and what are the steps that your employees can take to help you build that new future? And lastly, number six is to be respectful. Um, you know, it's important not to be condescending. You are going to also have times where you're going to be repeating the messages over and over again. Don't get frustrated. Some people won't understand and you will have to explain yourself a second, a third, a fourth time. Keep repeating what your key messages are and do it in a very respectful way. But it's not all doom and gloom. You know, crisis, a crisis offers us the opportunity to really reset the market. You know, certainly COVID-19, we've had to stop, pause, rethink about how we do things, rethink about where we're taking our businesses. And as communicators, you know, start looking at how you can paint this exciting vision for the future, that we are gonna do things differently. And speak to people's heads at a rational level, speak to their hearts at an emotional level. And thirdly, you know, Give them something practical that they can do, those actions that they can take things forward and build a new future together for your company. And that way you not only survive the crisis, but you actually thrive as a business. So those are six things that you can do when responding to a crisis and communicating with your employees. Um, we've put a toolkit together that's packed with a lot more. We've got things like you know, employees' mental states and what some of the things that you can do to combat that how people react in the crisis and actions that you can take. And we've also put together the different phases that people go through, particularly with COVID-19 and what we're going through as a business and how you can take proactive steps at each of those phases. Um, you can visit our website to the details below. And you can download the toolkit from there. Thanks everybody, keep safe. And remember that we don't just have to survive, but we can thrive.